Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Jade Empire. Let's crack on. You are nearing your goal. Grand Inquisitor Gia keeps many secrets in the inner chambers. Enough to appease the princess and earn your way to the palace. But you may learn more than she wants to know. I know that I did, many years ago. Look, if you have something to say, say Zhu, now really is the time. You know that Master Li tried to stop his brother and failed. I was not there to witness that, so I only have the details that you are aware of yourself. Hui in Tian's Landing told you that in response to that act, Master Li's wife was condemned to death. She was with child at the time. This I know for certain. I was there. I was one of the elite ordered to kill Master Li's family. You throw these accusations at your superiors and my father, but we have no reason to believe you. What? Well, why would you not believe him? Go on, though, Zoo. Death's hand brought the order to kill the family. We were cowards if we could not see the wisdom of his order. It was the will of the Emperor. I could not question the orders. They could not be wrong. Okay. Um. Yeah, that saddens me, but... You did do it. You murdered my master's family. Dirge was burning. Your master had fled, and we stood over a woman who had just given birth. I hesitated, and she was killed. For years I wondered what kind of creature could issue such an order, and what I was for following it. It was easier to be a coward than to question the Empire. Now I understand, and I hope I have shown you as well. They broke a sacred trust. I have returned because of that, even though I know what Death's Hand is. My fate is sealed, but one secret must live on. I killed them all, my fellow assassins. I would not let them finish their mission. Master Lee's child still lives. Wait, where have you gone? Where have you gone? Oh, where's he gone? God damn it, Sagacious Zoo. He's so good at getting around. Well, that's quite an admission, isn't it? I wonder who it is. Could it be me? No, it can't be me, because I'm a spirit monk. Could it be her? No. Are you ready to be presented to my masters and participate in the creation of the Jade Golem? It will be glorious. Make certain you have finished all other business in the fortress. Lotus Acolytes are rarely the same after meeting with Grand Inquisitor Gia. Well, I guess that means stick a save in. But I've only just made one. Um, yeah, I am ready, but my head's kind of all over the place now. I don't think he could be the child of Master Lee. Just trying to think through my companions if Dawnstar? Nah. Yes. Now we shall reap the rewards we both deserve. That is actually true. That is actually gonna happen, yes. You will reap what you sow. Preparations are complete. The Spirit Shard is prepared, thanks to the skills of our newest Lotus Acolyte. Uh, and my efforts to accelerate her training. Shut up, Gong! Your contribution has been noted. Now, we must complete the ritual. A score of clay golems stand idle without a focus. This jade golem will awaken them all, direct them as one. Insert the spirit shard. Let this legion of immortals give glory to our masters. What? What is wrong? I command you. I demand that you obey.
What is the meaning of this? Who has corrupted this Jade Golem? It is linked to a legion of warriors that now run mad. The Foundation will crumble. Who are... you? Wait. I can sense it on you. You are the one. You carry the other pieces of the amulet. I... I am so sorry, Grand Inquisitor Gia. It is my new acolyte. There was some kind of mistake. Fool! So blinded by petty schemes that you cannot see a threat in our midst! You are worthless! And you? Hidden in plain sight like your master. You caught us unsuspecting, but not unprepared. Who are you to think you could enter our lair so easily? Hmm. Uh, I'm just a simple student searching for a master, uh, master Gong. He, he, right there. A simple student? I don't think so. An invader, conspirator, traitor. We survive by seeing the enemy in everyone. That is why Death's Hand stands at the forefront of the assassins. He draws attention, diverts criticism while the Emperor solidifies his power. You are like every other simpering peasant that has graced our dungeons. What did any of them contribute to the glory of our age before the Emperor dared to make something of them? That is the beauty of what Sun Hai has done. He has taken the raw material of the Empire and extracted something useful. <laughs> For every magistrate that objects, or peasant that asks questions, another golem is forged. An army undying. But through all this, a threat remained. A traitorous sibling and a hidden protege. We did not know a face or a name, but we knew what they would need. The amulet. Its pieces spread like petals to the wind. You have caught a few, but you are far from your peak, and not every golem was linked to this corrupted husk. Goodbye, spirit monk. I will inform Death's Hand of your past. gone to Spirit Shrine and updated my spirit, I think. Lots of wind. I mean, I know it's because she's a baddie in the game, but, uh... Why, why didn't she try and help kill me as well? Unless maybe she's afraid of me. Wow, I can turn into a jade golem. That is quite amazing. I don't know how good they are. Probably better than toad demon. Ah, excellent. Very nice. Well, what do you think of that? Can I ask her? There's no time for discussion. We must confront Gia and get out of here. Oh, okay. I think actually the game might have just done that for we me. We have to find Gia and kill her before she brings Death's hand. You are strong, but you do not know real power. Our strength lies in preparation. We have warriors across the Empire and other Jade Golems that are not corrupted. 
You have diminished us, but it is not a mortal wound. Death's hand will be here soon. You will be my gift to him, drawn as you were by your precious amulet. Live or die, the will of the Emperor be done. So does she believe it really is the will of the Emperor? There's no time to stop and talk. We must escape this place before it becomes our tomb. I wish she'd have died in his place. Oh, I've got loads of stuff here. Oh, I'm limping. I thought I'd test run mode off by accident. Long sword. I wish that Salt Fox had died instead of Zoo. Can I go read all the other bits in there now? No. Yeah, I don't really know why I got the arm style, the viper style, because I can't learn it. I'm pretty sure I lost all the others when I learned iron palm. Got full blue. Still can't interact with whatever this is. Is the watcher going to try and stop me? I'm a bit sad. Sagacious Zoo's dead. And I didn't kill the watcher. A lowly acolyte walks away. You should have died beside your master, preventing the escape of whoever did this. Unless you had a role in it. Destroy them to be sure. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah. 
thanks for your... Oh, you stupid game. We have to get out of the necropolis so we can deal with this information. Be careful, the ground is shifted. There's no telling what has been disturbed. Oh, you stupid game. Stupid, stupid thing. God, I don't know why he keeps doing that. So annoying. Long sword. Okay. It's funny, I killed the pretty much the entire Lotus Assassin Order without any issue. But these things, they could probably still kill me. Wonder what probably best to go back to my um plane, isn't it? I can't imagine Jade Golems move that much quicker than the Toad Demon, which is probably his main weakness, really. I don't really know how I'm meant to get to the palace, though. Don't know which way I've got to go either. Um, let's go right. We know the palace floats because we found the things in the in the um, scholar's garden, didn't we? We found the floating stones. And we know they were used to construct the palace. I don't really know where the palace is. I don't like what we have seen here. We must return to your flyer so everyone can discuss what we have learned. That's what I said. So, your lost sheep, Sagacious Zoo, returned to save you. I didn't think he had the nerve. That's because people are nothing but tools to you. My dear little Dawnstar, I am a princess. People bow to me. That is the way things are. Of course, many things are not as I thought they were, if what we learned from Gia is true. I can't believe you're being a dickhead about Zoo when he just saved your life. Now this is a good option. Your father is behind it all. So I could either point out that she shouldn't be a massive dick to Zoo when he just saved her life, or I can say, yes, you spoiled little princess bitch, and your father is responsible for everything. But I'm trying to be calm and tolerant. That's it, you just forget Zoo and move on. I do not mean to diminish his sacrifice, but the concerns of the living take precedence. Too much is at stake. When this is over, I swear that he shall have a grand funeral. So Death's you. hand will be in the grave next to him. And my father, my father will answer all our questions. Why, have you learned to speak to Dead Spell?
Yep, your father is behind it all. I know what you found and what the implications of it are. The Emperor himself ordered the golems constructed and the workers were stolen from their homes. By the Water Dragon's mercy, they are enslaved until they die, and then trapped within the golems. I have seen the proof. But how can it be true? He has taken our master, killed our friends. What if assaulting the Water Dragon is true, too? He must be stopped. No! I will not believe it! We have to go to the palace and give him the chance to explain! No. Nope, we're gonna kill him. I think, just just cool it down for a second. The reason we did come to the city was to ma rescue Master Lee. I didn't really plan when we set out to kill the Emperor. I planned to kill Gal, Gal the Greater, and we did that. That was good. Everyone enjoyed killing Gal the Greater. And my next plan was to rescue Master Lee. So let's just just so everyone cool down. My concern at the palace for now is Master Lee. Stand beside me or don't. I am going to question my father and straighten this out. It's all just a mistake. Oh, do I really have to tell her that? Why am I telling Silk Fox that? Oh, I hate her. However, there is more. Zoo did tell me about Master Lee's murdered family and his child is still alive. Layers upon layers, as if this wasn't complicated enough. Now you are really stepping beyond the realm of reason. Why would Zoo know this? Because he listens to people and he's not an ignorant know-it-all. Besides, he was part of the group sent to kill them by your father. He had a change of heart. Only partially, it would seem, or they would both be alive. Does this change anything? We can tell Master Lee and give him hope, but we must rescue him first. Then let's quit talking and go to the palace. I will lead the way. Ugh. We must be on our guard. Is there another way to reach the palace? The princess doesn't want to see the danger. Yeah, she's a moron. She says she can get my marvelous dragonfly there in one piece. I've heard no other options, and I won't risk the finish flying blind. Everyone be quiet! Are you ready to go? If you have business left in the Imperial City, you'd better finish it. I won't be leaving the palace without an answer. Yeah, I want to talk to Sky because he's not a dickhead. You delay us just to chat with your dashing rogue? Be quick about it. I want answers, and there's only one place left to get them. Hurry to the palace. I hate it that Master Lee is trapped there. Who knows what the Emperor is doing with him? My father will explain. Death's hand is behind this. You will see. Is there anything you want to talk about, Dawnstar? Because I was talking to you, Dawnstar. I was thinking about the Imperial City. It is such an expansive place with a great deal of history. But my... my gift lets me see other things as well. Glimmers of the past. Oh, what kind of things have you seen? It is deep and layered. The lives of people spent in the shadow of the wall. Working, dying, never leaving. All their experiences have left marks upon it. The stones echo with their passing. Sometimes I can almost hear their voices. You know who did this? The Emperor. And you haven't mentioned this before. No, that's a bit... Of... Why haven't you mentioned this before? That's not really appropriate. Uh, that could be disconcerting. It has history, ages of history, and much of it is covered in blood and misery. And not all of that is in the distant past. There are dark currents I cannot see clearly. The threads of fate are woven in the city, or will be. Does that make sense? I don't know anymore. Hmm, it doesn't make a huge amount of sense. Have you seen anything that might be helpful? Any spirits that can speak clearly are asking for help themselves. The world is upside down. It seems like there is so much more at stake than just our master's safety. 
I am worried, but I know you'll be able to set things right. Let's let's get going. I feel a chill. What do you want? Do you feel any spirits here? There are spirits everywhere here in the city. Ghosts live inside of the people who remember them, just a little. Everyone has that spark, except for me. I have no one inside of me, except for the guardian and the other. But some of these people, the ghosts inside them cause so much pain. What do you see in those people? The ones that hurt? Spirits have such sad stories. The people don't know though. All they understand is that they feel bad, but they don't know why. When you feel bad for no reason, you might have touched one of them. The city is old. So old. And so many people have lived and died here. There are spirits everywhere. I guess I can understand why so many of them feel so bad all the time. But we shouldn't talk about this so much. Who knows how much we'll draw their attention. We should keep going. Is there anything else you want? Are you alright with the demons inside of you? They don't come out very much. The Guardian protects me and keeps the other inside. When the other tries to get out, it feels like my head is going to tear itself apart. That must be very hard on you. Yes, but the Guardian has always been with me, and I trust him. The other one has been there too, but smaller. They won't say why, they say we have to be with you now. Hush child, I will speak for now. This child has been chosen as the vessel to allow me into the mortal realm. She is my gate into this world, and I'm her protector. Why did you choose her? The amulet you carry had been hidden in the village by the last of the spirit monks and the whole area flooded. Those remaining behind died and it was lost forever. But the dam had opened again and the water receded. I am bound to protect this amulet, but to exist in this world, balance is needed, with good, evil, with life, death. Of those who died there, I chose this one as my host. She was reborn through my power, and I within her, but balance required that my heavenly presence have an opposite. You mean... Wait, Wildflower is dead. We needed a host, and she was there. I did not expect Balance to require that both I and Yashen be within her. It is almost too much for her to bear. We are both here inside her, but Yashen is different. He cares nothing for the amulet or the girl, and would gladly sacrifice her to escape. Ha! You care too much for this whelp. Quiet, stay inside. Do not mention these things to Wildflower Spirit Monk. She is only dimly aware of her past, and this knowledge would harm her further. What? What do you want? I always figured if I saw the Emperor, it would be for my own execution. Of course, the day's still young. I just hope I get to meet the man who taught you how to fight. I've never seen someone so small fight so well. First, we have to free him. Let's get to the palace and give the Emperor a taste of real power. We'll have your master free in no time. Tried that once, and it didn't work out. Prefect Mu Hong pledged his daughter Mi Shan to me after I cleared his district of bandits. She wasn't ugly, so I agreed. The night of the wedding feast, I got more than a little drunk, and in the morning I woke up in the prefect's bed. 
next to the prefect's wife. Sorry about that. I thought it would be a dead end. I didn't realize he would actually say something. So, where was your new wife during all of this? I got up and went into my bride's room, and there was a strange man in her bed. I killed the bastard and was about to kill her when Mishan came into the room yelling. Apparently, I had just killed her sister's husband and was about to kill her sister. I tried to tell her it was an honest mistake, but she wouldn't hear it. Oh. God, you killed your wife's brother-in-law by mistake. The brother-in-law's family was pissed, and so was the prefect when he found out about his wife. They tried to subdue me so they could send me to prison. I killed them all swiftly. None of them suffered. Still, Mishan wouldn't leave with me. She kept crying and complaining about her family. Family life just isn't for me. <laughs> that's... that's... Even topped your last stupid thing. That is the most stupid thing I've ever heard. Whatever. Yes? I can't believe we're actually going to see the Emperor himself. This is a most propitious day. If my wife were here, she'd... Actually, I'd rather not think about that. I am, however, looking forward to meeting your master. I'd like to know if he's familiar with my drunken master style. But I suppose we should get ready to go. Just give me the word and I'll get the camp packed up and ready to go. Um, I wonder if this will go somewhere. Why not leave your wife home? Oh. My prescient pretty has an uncanny knack for derailing my plans, in case you haven't already noticed. Some say there are spirits out there that masquerade as people, and I suspect she may be one of them. She has my soul and there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. Do you have any proof? One time, I tried to sneak away while she was delivering a special order of buns to her uncle's family. As I started to leave, I slipped on some oil and broke my arm. Still, I put my arm in a sling and was continuing on my way when I was run down by a rogue bun cart. When I came to, my wife had returned and was in a foul mood. Apparently, everyone she had visited died from food poisoning. But why not her? I mean, I'm sure she ate at least one of the buns I sent. Is my entire entourage made of m mass murderers? Y you are just admitting that the buns were poisoned, right? I am saying no such thing. It is simply my lot in life to be given into the care of a demon whose soul sustenance comes from sucking the very life from my body and soul. Ugh. Soup, anyone? I can't believe we're. Is that everyone? I could talk to Silk Fox. I just hate her. Are you ready yet? The more I think about the information you found, the more I need answers straight from my father. Hurry up. I feel like... Oh, I didn't fully explore you, did I? You... I don't like what we have to do. Aren't the Lotus Assassins evil? Why should we try to imitate them? To find the heart of evil, you must look within your own. A noble heart can resist any temptations. Do not stray from this path. I know that I won't. And that being around Lotus Assassins won't corrupt me, as long as I have the Guardian. And you. Is there anything else you want? Okay. Always happy to help. What do you need? What are your thoughts on our situation, Sky? I believe we have an appointment with the Emperor, by invitation of his daughter, no less. Unless you have other things to finish, I see no reason to keep him waiting. Emperors hate to be disappointed. So, um, what's on your mind right now? At this exact instant? I'm sorry, but if I'm going to be honest, and I think that honesty is the best policy here, 
then I can't tell you. You inspire the occasional distracted moment, and who am I to fly in the face of decorum? Let's do it right in front of Silk Fox really loudly. <laughs> Let's just move our bed next to Silk Fox before we go to the palace and just really annoy her. Uh, just how am I inspiring these distractions? I'll never tell. If I did, you'd stop doing whatever it is, wouldn't you? That would be a shame. It's not that I don't want to talk, but I know time is of the essence, and I'd hate to hold you up. I'd be more comfortable if we made some more progress towards the palace before I use up any more of your time with my thoughts. Oh, no. Oh, well. We'll do you later. Of course. I'll be here if you need anything. And I think with that, this is a good place to stop. So thank you for watching. Got quite a few videos to edit out here. And come back for the next bit of Jade Empire, where we will go and meet the mass murderer, evil, corrupt, responsible for the deaths of millions and the enslavement of more, and organized crime, the Emperor. text of war. In the art of war, it is not enough to have superiority in numbers or strength in arms. True victory, lasting victory, is a cultural thing. To stop a conflict you must not only defeat armies, you must defeat the will to fight. You must appease your enemy, convince them they have won, or eradicate them utterly. A nation with an expansive population therefore benefits from extermination. With a surplus of peasants, a newly cleared land can be rapidly repopulated and, with an infrastructure of buildings already in place, made productive in short order. In the reign of Emperor Yuan Zhi, this was demonstrated most admirably in the marshlands to the south. Scale of the Viper A warrior's honour is a shield, but also a hindrance. The aspirant is best served by equating honour with the scale, protection that is cast off when it is no longer useful. Viper is not for those who hide behind platitudes. It is vicious and makes no apology. Legacy of Death's Hand earned from your studies of the tomes in the Lotus Assassin Fortress. Death's Hand's training is incessant and brutal. It admits no failure, and no one who fails will survive it. But at its core, its aim is to improve the student. His methods may be inhuman, but for those who can survive, twisted enlightenment awaits. Jade Golem Transformation Style removes negative effects such as slow or paralysis. This style imbues the martial artist with the power and form of the towering Jade Golem. Powerful and terrifying, the Jade Golem mauls foes with brutal strikes and inhuman cunning, and the form's complete immunity to magic and martial styles makes it the perfect tactic when facing deadly sorcerers and certain demons.